so these are the ingredients we're going to be using. Very simple ingredients. Here we have some flour, all-purpose flour. Here we have some plain panko breadcrumbs. Here we have some Oaxaca melting cheese. If you cannot find this cheese, it is okay. You can use any kind of cheese that you find. Um, you can even use mozzarella cheese, um, something that just melts easily. Here we have some white corn tortillas. I always use white tortillas. And this is gonna, and the amount that you need, it all determines on how much tacos you're gonna make. And this is the fish that I use. It is called tilapia. Um, it comes in frozen, vacuum sealed individually. Um, this is the fish that I use when I make this dish. Um, it's very economical, especially when you're cooking, especially when you're cooking for a large amount of people. Um, but of course, you can use any fish you have on hand. I know it's not a favorite of everybody. Um, and then here, this is the seasoning I'm going to be using. Especially when I make these fish tacos, this is the seasoning I go for, which is the chupacabra rub. I don't know if it's available everywhere, but um, it is available here um, at the Texas HEB stores. These are the ingredients, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's just go ahead and grab a plate first. So to this plate, we're going to add some flour. And this is for the coating of the fish. So let's just put, mm, I guess that much. And then we're going to add our panko crumbs. So the exact measurement, I really don't know it because I never measure it, but just so long as it's, it's half and half. So let's mix this together. Add some more panko crumbs. So basically, a more panko than flour. This is going to have to work, yes. So you want it to have that feeling that it, there's still flour in there, but obviously you're going to feel the panko crumbs. So this should be enough. Now we're going to get that seasoning, and we're going to add it to the mix. That's gonna have to work. See, so it's gonna look like this. You see, and it has, kind of has the tint of the color of the seasoning. So here I have my fish. I already um, gave them a rinse and I dried it. So this is how they look. And now what we're gonna do to the fish is we are also going to coat it with the same seasoning. And that is how they look. Just kind of rub it on there. Now I have another plate back here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to coat them. So now that I've already um, already coated the, the fish. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my pan on. I'm using a deep skillet because I'm gonna like fry them. In the meantime, in the back, I'm gonna be making just a little pan of some white rice. So real quick, so while I'm waiting for my pan to heat up, I'm off to the side adding more crumbs to the fish, just coating it more. That way the coating gets a little bit more thicker. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just doing that. Since I already coated it with one coating, I guess, I let it sit off to the side. So now I'm just going to do this. Let it sit there until I'm ready to use it. Just like that. Now to my pan, because I just let it heat up, I'm going to go ahead and put some oil. I'm going to be using vegetable oil. Put some in there. We're not deep frying it. Mm. Don't put a lot of oil into your pan. You still, you don't want the fish to submerge into the oil completely. So, a quick tip. You wanna know when your oil is ready, you wanna grab a wooden spoon, 
and you want to place it right in the middle. And if you see bubbles start to rise up really quickly around the bottom of the spoon, that means your oil is ready. Grab our fish. Another way you can test it is you can put just a little bit of the mix in there. You see that? That means it's ready. Let's get our fish. Let's kind of dust it off a little. And let's add it. Okay, let's grab another fish. Just like this. Dust it off. So you see how I mean how the fish still pops up on top? That's um, how much oil you would put. So we're going to go ahead and let these cook. And then um, I'll go ahead and time it for you. That way you know more or less how long it takes um, to cook up. on that side for about four minutes so now what we're going to do is we're going to flip them be very careful um, especially when you're working with fish that's very flaky and they can fall apart easily so grab a spatula grab another spoon and we're going to flip it So you see how that came up? All right, so now we're going to remove the fish. The other side's been cooking for about three minutes. So here I have a foil lined cookie sheet and I have one of these cooling wax. So let's go ahead and grab the fish. And we're going to place it on here. And then at any time, whenever you're frying something, you want to go ahead and dash it with just a little bit of salt while it's hot because then it'll seep through through the food. The food. <laughs> so let me show you how the fish looks. It doesn't have that very fried taste like making fried fish or like fried chicken, but it does have a nice crunchy coating to it. So I'm going to go ahead and fry up the rest of my fish. And then I'm going to show you how I put all this together. So now you want to grab a pan, a big enough pan or however you want to do this method, whatever works for you. So my pan has heated up. Put a little bit of oil. Let's brush that in like this. Okay, so we're going to put our tortilla. Just like that. We're going to grab some of that cheese. Just like this. And then now our fish, you see how it has the seam in the middle? We're going to go ahead and break it up just like that. You see that? So now we're going to get one side, put it down, and put the other side down. We are going to grab some more cheese. And now we're going to put a lid on it, okay? And the reason for the lid is so that the cheese can melt. So I'm going to go ahead and finish what I'm doing here and I'm going to show you how it all looks put together nice and pretty. Alright guys, so here it is. Here are my fish tacos. As you can see, the cheese is melted at the bottom. These are kind of nice and toasted. So all you're going to do is just fold it over and eat it. This mix that I have on top, it is spring mix. It comes packaged at your local grocery store. This is what I use. Um, back here, this is flavored white rice and all I did is it's Mexican rice same seasonings 
everything that I use when I make my rice, I just didn't add the tomato sauce. That's all that is, and it still has the same flavors. And then back here, I like to eat my tacos with this type of salsa, which is like guacamole salsa. But as far as the toppings, you can add whatever toppings you like, whatever your favorite is. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys. Bye.